Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for returning for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Tamara Tobias, a women's health care nurse practitioner and manager at Seattle Reproductive Medicine. She's going to talk about fertility-wise. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Tamara Tobias, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Neil. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Give us a brief look into who you are and your area of expertise, what it's like to be a, a nurse practitioner and manager. Yes, thank you. So I am a nurse practitioner at Seattle Reproductive Medicine. I've been in this field for now over 24 years, um, which I absolutely continue to love. It continues to change, and I just find the engagement with patients as well as the continuous learning um, to be something that keeps me going every single day. I said that you were going to uh, discuss something called Fertility Wise. What is Fertility Wise? Why is it important, and why are you so passionate about it? Yes, so Fertility Wise is a new, it's an on-demand e-learning program for clinical staff, including this is your nurses, your medical assistants, as well as advanced practice providers. And what this is, what's cool about it, it's a comprehensive library and includes over 2.5 hours of modules on reproductive endocrinology and infertility. And what I love is that the modules are fun, they're very um, interactive, and they're, the illustrations are really great, especially if you're a visual learner such as myself, and it, you can take it at your own pace. And then at the end, each module has its own short snippets with key learning objectives. So what are your perspectives on, on the importance of comprehensive fertility information for clinical staff? Are there any unmet needs in that area? What are you hearing from people that are using this or need to be using this? Yes, as a, it's working in this field for so long, and we, we're a busy clinic, and it's hard to find time to go over the fundamentals of reproductive physiology. And so what I think is so key about this program is it gives, it gives your new nurses, your fertility staff, your, even your front office people, it gives them knowledge and knowledge base about all the services that you provide in the practice and how they, having that knowledge base can help better serve our patients. Um, so, for example, even, even if it's even OBGYN nurses, having an understanding of reproduction, like the menstrual cycle, it's so important to understand all the dynamics of the menstrual cycle so they can realize how the medications and the treatments all are going to work. Is anyone eligible? Can anyone sign up and use FertilityWise? And did you mention how it's accessed? Is it, is it free? Is it something that um, is paid for or maybe paid for by the company? That's, the, what, that's such an awesome question. So the great news is that this course is absolutely free, um, which is amazing. So it's a free um, online module, and you can access the information at www.faring, F-E-R-R-I-N-G, USA, backslash fertility wise. So it's www.faringusa.com slash fertility wise. And this can be utilized for any fertility, anybody working in the fertility practice. I even ought to talk about OBGYN practices and even people that have been in the field forever. I took the modules and I learned something new. It's just bringing back the basics that you forget about when you're doing this every day. And it, it's really a fun and interactive tool. How does it differ from other uh, training modules that may be out there? Yeah, that's an awesome question, Neil. So what makes it different are these, the modules are short and they're very concise, and they're the illustrations. And so I think the visual component is huge. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm a visual learner. So seeing seeing how the, the uh, FSH comes through the pituitary and how it impacts for the ovaries and that direct stimulation, and you get that visual instead of just reading it and reading it in a book, for example. And and then it reiterates the key points. And I think it's the short snippets, which makes it unique as well. So you're not sitting in front of a computer for two hours straight, just reading all about the menstrual cycle. You're visualizing it and you're reviewing the modules and you can do it at your own pace and you can stop and start anytime. Is this available everywhere or are there regional restrictions, any, uh, any type of restrictions as far as availability? No restrictions. It's an easy, it's on demand. And again, it, uh, it's at www.faringusa.com slash fertility wise. It's absolutely free and very easy to use on any, on any download uh, platform. 
So what type of feedback have you been getting from folks who've, uh, who've actually used and implemented in their practice? Oh, great question. So the feedback so far I'm getting is, is because it is short and sweet that they are able to use it. And what I think, especially somebody starting as a new nurse, is when you're training somebody else and you're on the phone and you're calling patients, it's really hard to kind of have that time to sit down with a nurse and explain, okay, this is how this medication is going to work. And so you can give your new nurse an assignment, have her watch the first module on anatomy and then take it from the next module on the menstrual cycle. And so the, men- the, the modules build upon each other, and then they go into the testing. It goes into genetic carrier screening, which can be quite complex to understand, and then ultimately goes into treatment and patient management. Um, so it's just a really cool tool, especially for new staff, to really get the basics of what we're doing in the fertility centers. Are there any certifications or anything like that associated with participating in Fertility Wise? There's no certification or no requirement. Um, This is an introduction. So it's an introduction to reproductive medicine. And so anybody can take it to really learn it. And I would encourage any member of a fertility clinic, an OBGYN practice, anybody that wants to enhance their learning and enhance their increased knowledge base, And the more knowledge base you have and the more understanding, the the better you you become more competent in in helping helping direct patients and providing the most excellent care that you can. Is there anything that you'd like like to add with that? I know that you gave us that website twice. Once again, let us know where we can learn more. Once again, um, we gave you the website. uh, But once again, I just want to reiterate that it's free. And it's about 2.5 hours of content, which you can do at your own pace. And these interactive tools are really fun. They're engaging. And I myself learned quite a bit when I was going through the modules, um, even after 24 years of working in this field. So I encourage um, anybody who has the chance or wants to learn more is to check these uh, modules out. Tamara, I appreciate your time this evening. Thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Thank you so much for having me. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Tamara Tobias. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at Anchor Spotify, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.